Hey guys, what's up? It's Culture Detective here, investigating your favorite. And today, uh, the semester is over. And also today, I'm going to be doing a quick album review on the new Foo Fighters album. But here we are. So this is Foo Fighters' 11th studio album. They have been making music for quite some time now, ever since the end of Nirvana and Dave Grohl and Co has created a new band. Uh, they have been pumping out music for the last three decades. Now, um. Their last few albums have been kind of sleepy, kind of drab, um, and not really all that interesting, especially with them trying to incorporate a little bit of a dance pop into their music. But lately, we have the passing of drummer Taylor Hawkins, as well as Dave Grohl's mother. And so Foo Fighters has gone back to uh, their alt-rock roots and really busted out a uh, really focused, personal... Uh, tight, solid rock album. That is this album. But here we are. So, uh, first of all, a lot of the tracks here are pretty much bread and butter, meat and potatoes, alt rock. But they are really well done. Great, passionate performances. It actually doesn't sound that drab at all. And Dave Grohl sounds uh, as passionate as ever on this project. The album opener, Rescued, is an anthemic, blissful, powerful opener where he basically sings about needing rescue and needing life after a drastic change. And I really like that instead of really going downhill and being sad and downtrodden and dejected, they really go upward. They really try to bring positive energy to it, which is really beautiful. And the passionate performances are amazing. The second track, Under You, is also a fantastic single. It is a straightforward alt-rock rager with fiery, warm guitars, fuzzy vocals. Sure, the mixing and mastering on this project isn't really uh, perfect, but it didn't really detract from my experience of the album at all. And the chorus is really catchy. I really like it. The track, Hearing Voices, has a moody guitar intro, and then we are hit with a dense and emotional track with constantly changing keyboards. I really like um, the lyrics, no one cries like you, no one lies like you, where essentially Dave Grohl talks about these voices that he hears, but these voices aren't his. These are the voices of the people he know and he used to know. And um, there's something really emotional about it. I mean, he's not the greatest lyricist ever, but he really puts his best in the lyrics and you can tell the title track uh, we have these stuttery riffs and drums on top of a basic 4-4 beat instrumentally it's not really one of the greatest on the album but i still think it's not bad at all uh, the glass it starts off with these beautiful acoustic guitars which i really like and it's sort of a throwback 2000s alt rock thing but given that foo fighters is literally part of that movement uh, I would say they have the right to literally do the same thing again. And uh, of course, they're not doing the same formula, but with drab instrumentals, they actually bring something interesting sonically onto the table with the organs and nostalgic chords. And um, also lyrically, Dave Grohl talks about seeing visions and not being able to reach it. We have the track Nothing At All, which is a track that sort of sticks out like a sore thumb because in the midst of passionate, emotional beautiful anthemic rock jams and anthems. Uh, we have this groovy dance track that dance rock track that sort of sticks out like a sore thumb. And then we have these vocals that are very muffled and high passed intentionally. So, and uh, the chorus is kind of messy. So not really one of my favorite tracks on the album. Um, but the last leg of the album is really, really great. We have the track Show Me How, with, uh, which is a fantastic single. This track is a moody and shoegazy track with dreamy and bittersweet chords. Dave Grohl and his own daughter sings in a duet, and it's really nice. It's really uh, personal as well. And um, lyrically, this track really reaches for the stars. It reaches for the afterlife. It's trying to speak to the people in the afterlife. So there's something really beautiful and moving about this track that I really love. Definitely one of the best singles of the year so far. And then Beyond Me uh, starts off with a dejected guitar intro. But once again, we have the beautifully bittersweet guitars and chords. And automatically, it sounds like an extension of the previous track and it sort of reaches a climax at the end and it's really nice 
And then lo and behold, we have The Teacher, which is a 10 minute long track. And they pull it off without any multifaceted flashy prog rock changes. Surely we have some dreamy and sad guitars and some sour instrumentals and it builds up to some guitar riffs. It leads to some stripped back guitars and then it builds up to a climactic explosion. So at the end, it doesn't feel gimmicky that they're doing a 10 minute track. It doesn't feel gimmicky. It doesn't feel flashy. It feels true to itself. It's very grounded. And finally, the album ends off with rest, which is an emotional slow goodbye with a refrain saying, you can rest now. Again, a really beautiful goodbye. Instrumentally, the distortion is a little bit too heavy, but I think um, I think with what the band is trying to say on this track, um, the emotional potency definitely still stands. So yeah, overall, this is a really good album. Instrumentally, it does have some ways to go. Production-wise, it does have room for improvement. But I do think that this is one of the most powerful and moving rock albums of the year, and I'm giving the new Foo Fighters album a strong 7 out of 10. And of course, my roommate has to come back right now. So have you listened to the new Foo Fighters album? Comments below, let me know, subscribe if you want more, and thanks for watching. I'm really hungry right now. I have to cook myself dinner, otherwise I'm going to die.